Hello, I'm Captain Zane with the Wichita Fire Department. As you can tell, my uniform is a little bit different than everybody else's. I don't have the heavy coat and the bunker pants and the big boots and the helmet. My job is very specific. I'm a fire investigator. I go out to fire scenes, to house fires, building fires, and I determine where the fire started and how the fire started. And as you can tell, with my uniform, I'm carrying a firearm. I am the police for the Wichita Fire Department. And sometimes when people do something bad, they get in trouble, and that's my job is to, uh, is to figure that job out, figure that part of the fire out, and to, if I need to, put them in jail for the crime that they committed. Now, a little bit about how I do my job. So, fire scenes can be very complicated because everything gets burned up inside the house or the building. So, there's, luckily, there's lots of fire patterns that we use to lead us in a direction to where the fire started. Now, generally, Fire wants to burn up and out. And as it's burning up and out, it consumes material. The longer it burns in one area, the more damage it's going to do. So we start at the area with the least amount of damage, and we work our way to an area with the greatest amount of damage. And generally, if we can find that area, not always, but usually, if we can find that area with the lowest, greatest amount of damage, we'll be able to find where the fire started. Good thing about my job is I have a great tool that helps me do my job. And that is K9 Buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Can you heal? Can you heal? And sit. Good boy. This is K9 Buddy. Buddy's a seven year old yellow Labrador retriever. He works for the Wichita Fire Department. He was trained and certified by the ATF, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. But he's been working five years for the Wichita Fire Department and has traveled all over the country and worked fire scenes everywhere. Uh, he'll work about seven years of service and then he'll get to retire. Uh, a little bit about how Buddy does what he does is canines have a very uh, great sense with their nose. They use their nose very well. A dog's nose is 200 times better than our nose, stuff that we would never dream about smelling he can smell, okay? So he goes into a fire scene and he uses his nose and he's looking for something very specific. It's called an ignitable liquid. An example of an ignitable liquid would be gasoline. That's the most common ignitable liquid used in fire scenes. If somebody was going to intentionally set a fire, they would probably use gasoline. Now there's lots of others, kerosene, charcoal lighter fluid, cigarette lighter fluid, paint thinners, strippers, WD-40, all kinds of them out there that would do the job, but gasoline is the most prevalent. That's the most commonly found ignitable liquid we find in fire scenes. And Buddy can do, the, he can smell that down to the size of a teardrop. Yes, if the house is all burned up, the building's all burned up, Buddy can go in and he can find that down to the size of a teardrop. Now, everybody always asks me, how does he let you know? Does he bark? No, he doesn't bark. He sits. When, he's, when he finds what he's trained to find, he sits, and he will not move. He will stay there. What, and what's he sitting there waiting for? He's sitting there waiting for food, okay? But he is a food reward dog. Every drop of food he gets, every day of the week, seven days a week, 365 days a year, he has to work for it, okay? In other words, he never eats out of a bowl. Every day, no matter what, he has to work for his food. He gets somewhere between 60 and 80 alerts every day. Okay, now here in a little bit we're going to do a demonstration, but a little bit about how he does what he does. He's going to, he's going to go along, and he's going to sniff, and he's going to smell things, and when he finds what he's trained to find, he's going to sit. Now I'm going to go up, and I'm going to give him a little bit of food, and I'm going to praise him. I'm going to say, good boy, and I'm going to sound a little silly when I'm doing it, because I, I get a little high-pitched. And I'm going to give him a little bit of food, and I'm going to ask him to show me. And that's about it. And he's going to point with his nose, and he's going to sit, sit back up, and he's going to sit down. I'm going to give him a little, little bit more food. And that's really how easy his job is. Not so much for him. He's got to smell hundreds of different things, maybe thousands of different things, differentiate all the other smells, all the plastics, all the woods, all the papers, and look for that one thing that he's trained to find. And that would be an ignitable liquid. Here we go. We're getting ready for the uh, canine demonstration. And what I have out here are some clothes. This would be commonly found in just about every house or building that we go into. This would be something that Buddy would work on just about every time we go out to a fire scene. And there, there are a couple of these clothes that have something on it that Buddy should find, okay? 
And what he's going to do, once again, he's going to sit. When he finds what he's trained to find, he's going to sit, and he won't, he won't move. And I'll even try to get him to come off a little bit, and uh, I'll make him stay there. You ready, buddy? Come here. You ready? All right, let's go seek. Seek, seek. Seek, seek. Seek here. Good boy. Good job. That's such a good boy. Yeah. Good job. Show me. Show me better. That's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Yeah. All right, let's go. See? Let's go seek here. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good job. Now, I'm trying to feed him right at source. I want him to know that that odor equals, liquid, equals food. Show me. One more time, show me. Good boy. That's such a good boy, yeah. All right, let's go. See? Good job. Good boy. That's it. So, if you were to take this and put all this stuff in a house and have him work around, that's what he would do. If, he, if there's something in there that he's trained to find, he's going to find it, and that's how he's going to let me know. He's going to sit and ask for some food, and I'm going to give it to him. Here's some fun facts about the canine program in Wichita, Kansas. So, like I said before, Buddy's actually trained and certified by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. There's one of, he's one of 60 canines nationwide within the United States that does what he does. Now these dogs are spread out all, all across the country, but that doesn't matter. If they need Buddy, if the ATF calls or if somebody calls and they need Buddy or a dog like Buddy to come to their fire scene, he will go. Okay, he's been to San Diego, he's been to Boston, he's been to New Orleans. He's just recently been up to Minneapolis and worked 58 fire scenes up there. He will travel anywhere they need him to go, okay? So he's one of 60 dogs nationwide. Uh, he's here in Wichita. This, he's the fifth dog we've had. He's the first male dog we've had, and he's also the first yellow dog. All the dogs before him were black female Labrador retrievers. Uh, but he will work seven years, and then he will retire. I think I mentioned that earlier, but that's real important. They want the dog to work hard for so many years, and then when they retire, they get to live a normal life. And then he gets to eat out of a bowl and not come to work every day.